Okay, in this video I'm just going to answer a question that always comes up. Which Vitamix do I get? And then people ask on the forums and these groups and all this kind of stuff. And you're just going to get a thousand opinions on basically just a few models. It's pretty simple to pick out one using the Vitamix selection tool. Back in the day, it used to be such a pain to figure out which one was good or not, or which one was right for you, because they had so many different models. They had pretty much a model number for 10 different machines, but they were all practically the same machine. So today is it's a lot different, it's a lot simpler. It's either you're just gonna get a smart one or a classic one, but let's just jump into how to select one for your needs. Okay, now if money is an issue, I always recommend Vitamix E310 if you want a brand new one. Just get that. Don't don't worry about anything else. If uh, if you have if you don't mind getting a reconditioned one, we'll go into that a little bit more. But you just go to the Vitamix website and there's a handy little tool and this is how you get there. So you have the main page here, okay? It has nice colors, nice stuff like that. And you go into shop products. Now mind you, this is July 4th, 2020. Happy Independence Day. And so this website does get updated often. So if you see this video and it's like a couple years later, chances are <laughs> this is not the way it is anymore. So anyway, so it's going to be a Blender Recommender down here when you hit the shop products. So let's go here. Blender Recommender. It used to be on the main page. You used to be able to see this on the main page. Why they moved it, I don't know. It was a, kind of a bad move. But here it is in your face. Find the right blender right now. And then let's get started. Those happy people. These happy people in these photos. Do you own a blender? Well... I own 12 Vitamix machines. Yes, 12. Don't ask. I'm a nutcase. However, we're just going to pretend that you don't own one because this is for first time purchasers. We're just going to assume that you have a piece of crap and that doesn't even count. Let's see. Do you usually buy the latest technology or prefer to stick with the classics? Latest technology or classics? This is one thing where it's kind of, it's all up to you, okay? I prefer simple controls on off with a dial and I get things done. But at the same time, I'm also a tech person, so I also like a lot of the technology. But we're going to go with uh, somebody who wants to keep things simple. They've never used a Vitamix before and they don't have a lot of money to spend on a Vitamix. They just want to go ahead and start with the whole food. Whole food juicing and eating and all that good stuff. So let's just say I prefer the classics for now. Okay, and things that you want to make. Let's say we just want to make everything. Because that's the whole idea of getting a Vitamix. At least in my opinion. Do you prefer recipe programs? We're just going to say... Yin... See, even I'm sitting here on the computer and I don't even know what I want to pick out. But let's, like I said, let's assume we just want basics. Just want to be hands-on. You're a hands-on person in the kitchen. Are you interested in a certified reconditioning machine? Let's pretend that no, we just want a brand new one for right now. So we get a new one. Congratulations, we found the perfect blender for you. And look at that. It brings up the E310 and you get a nice option of warranty all these colors are sold out look at that okay so you get a standard five-year warranty that's everything covered no matter what happens to the machine five years free shipping to and from the company they will repair it no problem done and you can even extend a warranty for $75 if that's uh, something you feel you need extra for that security I myself have never had a problem with any of my Vitamix machines uh, except for one time it was my fault and actually no yeah I, well anyway 
I can't even remember. But um, I had a problem, and it wasn't under warranty. So if you have a, a tendency to have accidents happen around you all the time, get the extended warranty, and you'll feel better about it. So that's the first recommendation. So let's start over. Like I said, brand new machine, E310. It'll do everything for you. 48 ounces is plenty. Okay, let's do the second round. Do you usually buy the latest technology? Let's say I still prefer the classics. Let's do all this stuff. Next, do you prefer recipe programs? Let's say you're a busy person in the kitchen. You do multiple things at once. You are making something for the kids and this, that, and the other thing. So you just want to throw stuff in the machine, turn the program on, and tend to something else and not have to worry about shutting it off. Then, yeah, let the blender do the work. Are you interested in certified recondition? Since we did new before, we're just going to say yes because the options are pretty much the same. Let's go with the yes, I'm interested. And they say certified recondition programs. Okay, they recommend a 6300. This is a great machine. It has programs, it's a classic machine. And it can do, it has a tall container. Now the tall container can do single servings as well as big 64 ounce batches. The downside to this package here as it comes is that it's tall so it may not fit underneath your counter which for me I never found it a big deal I just took the, the container off and put it away and just left the motor base on there and I still do that because I have so many containers now however you can still get this option and get an additional container that's short like a 48 ounce container and at the time I'm doing this video, they actually have, if you buy a machine, a brand new machine, not certified recondition, but brand new machine, you can get another container for 50 bucks. And so that's always a really good deal because having a big container and a small container in conjunction, they are the one-two punch. All right, let's start over. Let's go to no. Let's say, let's say the latest tech. Let's say we have a little bit to spend. We got a nice tax return. We got a, you know, gift card or something like that. Do they even have Vitamix gift cards? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go with this. Select everything. Okay, dials or touch controls. Okay, I like a physical dial. That's just my preference. And touch is fine but sometimes when I go to touch buttons I have to I feel like I have to tap the button a couple times over now that happens with smartphones too so that's just something to keep in mind I like to have a physical dial and physical switches that's just me I'm very tactile but you could also prefer touch so let's say switch control you prefer recipe programs uh, we said in control we're, we're willing to spend a little bit of extra money in my opinion, if you're going to have a dial and you have a little extra money, you want latest tech, go for some programs, even if you don't need them. Uh, are you interested in certified recondition? Let's just say, no, we want a new machine. We are willing to spend a little bit of money. And the A2500, which is another favorite of mine. I got my mom this one. For the same reasons, she's not tech savvy. She likes to be hands on. But she's also, she doesn't know how to operate a Vitamix really. Now she does because she's had it for a while. But in the beginning, she was kind of iffy on how everything works. So with the program, she can just set it to smoothie, ice cream, or soup, and then let it run. She used the soup function a lot. And she just puts her stuff in, lets it run, comes back to it. And then there you go. But she also had the option of a, of the variable speed with physical dial and physical switches. So that is also my recommendation. If you want to spend a little bit of extra money and you like physical dials, that's what I would go with as well. See how nice this tool is. Now, I'm not going to go through every single iteration of and possible combination of 
of you know blend of selections but this is just kind of how you would figure it out on your own instead of asking people because everybody has a different opinion everybody wants to pick for you and say no this is the best and that's the best no, no, no. just come here I mean the internet is everybody has internet don't worry about it touch control let's go touch control do you prefer recipe programs we're, we've gone this far we if we've gone this far what's the point in trying to just say you're in control why don't we just say pre-program settings because we're going to be in control anyway that's just my personal opinion so let's say we have some money to really burn mind you any machine you buy will pay for itself in the money you save on groceries so even if you get the most expensive machine it will pay for itself regardless it just takes longer think about that okay uh, no certified recondition certified recondition you'll find awesome deals but we're just pretending that we just want to burn money right now okay and that's a cent 3500 all the bells and whistles programs the dial everything you need to go ahead and geek out in the kitchen now one thing I will tell you about Vitamix is that any Vitamix you pick you are picking the right choice you're making the right choice by just getting a Vitamix there's no bad Vitamix people ask that question all the time which one is bad which one's better than the other look they all make the same things the same recipes everything is the same the only difference the only real solid difference is how fancy it is that's what you're spending the most money on you want all the bells and whistles and programs and digital screen and touching this and that, da, 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 da. or do you want to just go with simple dials, no frills, just let me get my work done, and that's it. That's what you, that's it. That that's all in that's all the difference there is. And, and affordability. You just like you just can't you you are squeezing the lemons on your wallet to get those pennies and you just need a machine and you want either a new one or used one, it doesn't matter. You just go with the classic no frills and just get a Vitamix keep it like I said this tool makes everything simple when you go and ask all these forums and users and all that kind of stuff you're gonna confuse yourself even more because everybody has an opinion the best thing to do is just think about how much you're willing to spend because there's no bad Vitamix all Vitamixes do exactly the same thing they they have their accessories they do all these things they make great food the blend is always the same it's just how fancy you want to be okay that's it for this video vitamix.com shop products blender recommender and that's it you're done